This was a quick video uh, to complement an article I'm writing on LinkedIn to show you how you can auto-tune the PID on your Prusa i3 Mark II S uh, with the new firmware. Um, this would actually work for any printer, but and, but I just want to show you how I did it. I did speak to their support this morning about the variations. that They, they do seem to think it's fairly normal, and I do know that it will not damage the printer even with those variations, but if you want to get really successful prints, uh, this is how I do it on a Mac. So, using Pronterface, uh, what I do is obviously connect. you got to work out which port you're using. On mine, it was uh, forward slash dev cu.usb modem 411. Uh, you send the following command down there. You see it in the bottom, M303 S210C10 IE. M303 is the command uh, through the PID tuning to s210 is the temperature that you want to print at 210 degrees and this is for pla pla pro and c10 is the number of iterations the number of tests so i'm going to do 10 of them and it, it connects it does it you can see the led on the prusa do this on my mono mini select you didn't actually see anything uh, but it was heating it up and then when we got to the end you'll notice that we get the following uh, and i'll highlight them uh, kicked out as an average KP 15.71, uh, KI uh, 1.11, and KD 55.67. So, what you want to do is remember those. And now I will go into Cura and I'm using uh, 2.4. And what I've done is I've set up multiple uh, printers. You can see some of the printers I've already, I own, but here I set up a profile for my Prusa at 210 degrees. Uh, just give it a second. And once I do that, I'm going to manage the printers and machine settings for that. And you'll notice I've already entered, I already inserted this. This actual command is not there. The M301 command uh, is not, is, which is the PID tune, tuning command uh, for this particular printer. M301 was not there. You got to go from G80 down to M104. So what I did was enter that command, uh, and then it's set up for this particular printer. I don't want to use the M500 command because uh, I do change filament a lot, and I don't want to keep changing it. I've actually noticed though that when you do vary the temperature a little bit, it really doesn't make any difference. In fact, it does help around that medium temperature. Anyway, so that's it. Close, sent it. And I'm printing a job right now, and it is hanging at 210 and not moving from it. And that concludes it. You got any questions? Let me know.